This is an example of uh, pigeons flocking up. This is Leicestershire. We've been keeping an eye on these fields for a couple of days. And this is several thousand pigeon probably. And they are just wheeling about. They've been down on this rape for days. Um, really hammering it. And it's just a squadron coming over here. And there's another lot still back over the field here. And as you'll see, these fields here, they have bird scarers on them. There's a, uh, a buzzard decoy in the middle of this field. Uh, there's bangers all around these fields. And some white bags, etc. And still, they are flocking all, all, all over here. Okay, so this is a classic example of uh, a lot of pigeon not responding to scaring tactics and they're just going backwards and forwards from this kind of woodland over here. Classic city trees here. Back over to the roost wood here. And then on to these woods in the distance here. All the fields in between are a mixture of rape and uh, wheat. And they're all been pretty well hammered. For the record, this is the corner of the field that these pigeon have been on. You can see the uh, patches of chewed rape going down the field edge. We're not going to go this today because this is absolutely sodden and wet. All this side of the field edge here, absolutely picked clean. Now, these pigeon at this time of year are feeding on rape. There's not a lot of nutrition in this stuff, so they stuff themselves at least twice a day, and then go off to roost overnight and digest this. Um, and this is the kind of damage that we're uh, looking to protect against. Now, just for you guys who've not done much pigeon shooting before and it's a bit new to you, um, just come around the other side of these uh, wheat fields there's a bit of ploughed field here and the far edge of this field this is what you're looking for these are actually birds laid up and those almost look like little bunches of dead leaves almost but along this hedgerow if you start counting the numbers up there's several hundred pigeons just laid up in this tree line here Okay, so nothing on the field, but they're actually just in the borderline trees. Now this would be an example where having a banger rope uh, laid out at a distance or having two or three shooters spaced out over a, uh, a piece of farmland would help because you'd get these guys airborne again. And when they'd rather be roosting and you get them airborne, they're going to want to come down again pretty quickly. They don't like being disturbed and generally they'll go back to roost. But these will do a couple of circuits of the two or three local fields and if your decoy pattern is fairly good you might just get them to come down. Okay, so um, barren looking field but actually several hundred pigeon when you look a little bit closer. All dotted around in these uh, little trees here. Okay.